What's up, real world? Twisted luck. Hope everybody's good. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Uh, so something that comes up a lot, something we've talked about before in different ways, uh, more than once, I'm sure, but it's becoming kind of prominent in uh, mainstream media these days and, and lately, and not just right now, but for a little while now. Um, all these talks about uh, about nuclear, nuclear things, right? All these nuclear talks, these nuclear fears. And a, a big part of it, a lot of the headlines are, hey, hey, this country says, Vladimir, you better not do nuclear things to my country. Otherwise, you will pay. You know, U.S. says, hey, hey, if you do this, you were, we're going to put you in the corner, mister. But this time we mean it. We mean it. We're not going to just say the corner. We're going to put you in the corner, right? And all these other countries are saying, hey, if you do this, if you do this, right? But I don't, I don't hear him coming out and saying, hey, we're going to do this. We're going to nuclear you. You're going to be nuclearized uh, because we're very angry and evil. We're going to, so that's what we're going to do. I don't hear that. It seems to be one-sided, right? And it seems to me that other countries, including the one that we are in, he, well, I know some of you are over the drink, but here in the United States and the countries that you are in, so yes, all the ones we are in, we're hearing it from our own countries within media saying, hey, if this happens, if this happens, and I think that's because they want us to hear it. I can't get over this feeling, right? And I, I, and I might be wrong, and I want to be wrong, uh, but I'm, so all I'm doing is sharing thoughts and feelings. That's it, right? Like always, I'm never, you know, we never say, unless we have seen it ourselves and we know 100%, there's nothing that anybody can swear to. So we can't call you, hey, you're stupid if you don't agree with me, right? It's just you have an opinion that can differ because that's your right. But the way I feel about it, is there is a lot of push, and I think there's a lot of push for a reason. I think they really, really want this, right? And t like today, there was a headline um, over in the uh, in the other country with with the actor president, right? He used to be an actor pretending to be the president, and now he's an, an actor pretending to be the president. Uh, lots of theatrics. Now he's saying Vladimir is. Uh, planning to blow up a dam. He's going to blow up a dam. You better not do that. And, uh, you know, to me, see, my first thought would be if that dam were to be blown up, well, it wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't personally think it would be the person that they point the finger at. Because how do they, for one, how do they always know, right? They're like, oh, Vladimir plans this, Vladimir plans that. Well, Vladimir must be some kind of idiot if he's telling the world his secrets, right? And it's getting leaked to the news all the time, right? Oh, he plans this, he plans that, he plans that. What kind of military strategy is that for the enemy to know what you're going to do before you do it? But whatever happened to shock and awe, you know, sneak attack, surprises, right? I would think someone with a serious goal would want the surprise, right? So how is it that not only just the other countries, but all of the world's media knows what a military is going to do before they do it? It doesn't make much sense to me, right? doesn't make much sense and when it doesn't make much sense it's probably because it's not real it's not true and that's my feeling so all of you know it's smoke and mirrors is how I feel about all of this stuff I think it's all nonsense but we're supposed to hear it now you know I, I'm not saying maybe that damn damn will be blown up maybe it will maybe there is a plan and maybe that's a finger point ahead of time like hey hey you know I can come out and say, hey, this guy over here, he's going to blow up your dam. I just want to, he's going to break your dam. He said it. He said he's going to break your dam. He did? Yeah, he told me last night. He said not to say anything, but he said he's going to break your dam. Right? And then that night, I go in there and break that dam. Well, then the dam, the owner of the damn dam is going to be like, oh, that one guy told me that this idiot was going to do that. So that's who I'm mad at because I already knew he was going to do it. Damn it. He, he broke my damn, damn, damn it. I'm just trying to see how many dams we can fit in a row. Um, damn it, my damn, damn. That damn guy. Um, so you know what I mean? So I, I think I, I would look away from the person they're pointing the finger at. But what's disturbing and what's concerning, a dam is one thing, right? But all these nuclear talks because I personally would feel the same way if something like that were to happen, right? 
if if something were to happen on that level and they've been telling us all this time hey vladimir plans to do this he is bad man he is very very bad man vladimir could not be trusted he is bad man he is going to blow up everything right i wouldn't i wouldn't look at him i would look at who's you know whoever smelt it dealt it type of thing right and i that's what i personally think could be going on and i know i'm not alone i know there's a lot of other people too but and the more time goes on right the more it it kind of seems like just a theory that i've thrown out before kind of almost seems like there's a whole bunch of evil people well, let's just use a hypothetical scenario like we like to do so often Right? Let's say, hypothetically, in a fairy tale land, there is this whole bunch of evil people, right? They just, they're evil and they do bad, right? And they're all joining forces together to, to, you know, do evil to all of the people of their whole world. But there's this one guy in this one area of the world that's not playing along. He's like, no, I'm not going to do that, right? You guys are evil. So then, because the majority is against him, the majority is evil, they could band together and point the finger at him and say, this guy is evil, he is true evil. And that guy'd be like, no, what are you talking about? You're the evil ones, I'm the one not going along with your evil. So they could kind of flip the script on him, get the world to believe that he is the bad guy, he is the evil one. When in reality, he just won't go along with their evil ways and their evil plans, he refuses to conform. And, you know, it, it's it's kind of like how I, you, you know, you don't ever give up. You, you don't ever you stay true to yourself, right? And always remain true to yourself. And, you know, from start to finish. Came in that way, I'll go out that way, right? Without bending. So maybe it's a guy like that saying, nope, I, I will do anything I need to do to uh, keep you from trying to conform me. I am going to do my thing. So then all these world powers, right, start making that person out to be a super evil person and a threat to every other nation. Hey, we gotta do things, we gotta do things to this. Look, he's trying to take over the world and he's evil. Meanwhile, all the people that are saying he's evil are the true evil. And this guy with the much smaller voice, and especially because it's also silence, because it's way over there, and they they can they have a way of keeping information away from the other people um he's saying no no you gotta listen to me these people that are telling you i'm evil they are actually evil i am trying to fight evil right something along those lines and then the actual evil people could be like oh the fake evil person is planning to do these terrible things to people and they could build up that hype for a long time and get people afraid right start to build fear that that's going to happen and then let's say it happens right and people are oh no he did it that evil man did it but maybe it wasn't done by the evil man maybe it was done by the people who were pointing the finger at the evil man so you think the evil man did it but people won't know this and then people will support the actual evil people go after him go after him you have our support now you have to just go eliminate him and all these people are supporting evil unknowingly, right? It's just because so many things don't make sense. And, and, and when things don't make sense, you really have to think about it. You have to look into it. It doesn't make sense to me how me and you, regular people going about our daily lives, know about the secret military plans of another nation across the, <laughs> across the globe or the flat, <laughs> right? However you want to do it. Um, it doesn't make any sense to me. And I smell it. I, I don't know. I smell a rat. It smells kind of ratty to me. I mean, look what they did. Uh, you know, look at that day, you know, in 2001, right? Back in uh, September of that year, if I remember correctly, somewhere between the 10th and the 12th. I don't remember the exact date, right? And they were like, oh, these evil people, these evil people, we have to go after them, get the backing, right? So many people back them. Yeah, go get them. And a lot of us smelled a rat pretty quickly, but a lot of people backed that. And a lot of people were like, yeah, go get them. 
And a lot of people later came around and were like, we were duped, right? But that, because of that event, like we've talked about, because of that day and those, the events that followed open a lot of people's eyes. And I think that is a key example, right? A key example. And I do, unfortunately, like personally, I believe, I do believe there will be a, uh, a world event, another world event. And obviously there will be another world event. But what I mean is, coming of the things that we are seeing now, I think we will see a world event. And I believe it will not be as it's told, as many of you, I'm sure, believe also. Um, I believe what we're seeing is a stage being set. I'm not saying it's all about fear to, to have us afraid that something's going to happen and nothing ever does. I think it's a stage being set to have us fear what's going to happen and have the predetermined knowledge of the prime suspect when it happens. That's what I think. And I don't think it's going to be accurate. I don't, I don't think, I, I think whoever does the finger pointing, you know, should be turning the finger right back around if we want to find the appropriate responsible party. I do believe this, the evil empire. I've come to believe that, you know, this and many others is, an evil empire and they're they're getting worse at hiding it right like we've talked about they say ridiculous things they do ridiculous things that they know we hardly anybody would believe and they know that and they know that we know and they don't care right they don't care because they feel like hey we've got the power you've got nothing and that reminds me so we've talked a lot about dreams too right and i've had extreme vivid and telling dreams um, and one of the dreams that's recurring not like the recurring like the same dream but the same type of thing happening that I tried to describe before and this I mean I'm going back many many years when these dreams started of like something going on in the sky like there's fighting going on in the sky and, and things raining down from the sky I described as like little fireballs or something and um, and, and you know going through areas of ruins and trying to help people or we're like hiding from things and like drones flying around searching for you and this is like long before drones I'm, I'm these dreams started a long time ago right and they were very weird to me but the way reason I'm bringing this up you know and because of my experience with my dreams and I have seen them to be telling of things dreams aren't just some silly nonsense that you think of when you go to sleep I know that a hundred percent as many people do not for everybody. Uh, you know, maybe some people are different, but some people, when you're more in tune with things, I think, uh, dreams can be telling. But anyway, specifically the dreams were like these little fireballs falling down from the sky, you know, and they get more and more and they're like everywhere, like all over the place. They're, I don't know if they're fireballs or what they are, but like in one of the specific dreams that I remember very vividly, um, they were raining, things were going on and they were raining down and I, they were just starting to rain down, like one over there, one over there, and it was gradually getting heavier. And I ran outside to get people, right? I don't know what, I, it, I don't know what this was. And I think maybe in my dream I did, or I had an idea, I'm not sure. But I knew that to be safe, you needed to be inside. I don't know if you would be safe, but safer for longer, I guess. And uh, there were people outside, there, were, I, there was family outside. So I ran outside to go get them. And I said, come on, come on. I told everybody, run to the house, run to the house. And I was behind them, you know, to make sure everybody was getting into the house. And the things started falling heavier and heavier, raining down all over. And it was coming around me. And I remember watching them and, and thinking, oh, you know, please just make it in the house. And then please let me make it to them to make sure I can keep them safe because that was my main concern keeping everybody else safe and I could feel like whatever it was that was raining down was like making me fade out like I was fading and I was trying to run and it just like froze me like I like I got drained out and just frozen and went down I fell down I didn't make it into the house with them and then I woke up from the dream. But whatever that was that was raining down, 
it, it was like, it was going to get you. you know, if you're out there in it, it's going to get you, whatever that is. And it's crazy. I saw this little video the other day. I'm telling you this because I'm going to try to play it right here. If you don't see it right here, then it's going to work Whatever reason, I'm gonna try to play a little bit of this video that I saw. It's not my video. I don't know. I think it's from another country or something. And it could be a doctor video even. I don't. I don't even know. I don't know what it was. But it was somebody allegedly filming something outside, raining down from the sky. And it was just a random video that popped up. And when I saw it, I was like, "Holy crap! That's just like the dream. Like I can't describe it perfectly. And obviously, I can't show you my dream, but." This stuff that was raining from the sky was exactly from those dreams, which was so strange. This was just the other day that I saw that video. I'm hoping that, I'm, that I was able to show you this video because uh, very interesting. It was very eerie to me when I saw that. I watched and I, then I rewatched it like 20 times because it was so eerie to me because it was like it was taken from that dream, that specific dream. And I've had other dreams just like that. And um, but and I don't know what the hell this was. You know, I, people in comments were saying, you know, phosphorus or phosphate or something. I don't remember what it was. Um, if I can show you the video, I'll also show you. I'll, I'll put a link in the description to the video. Either way, I'll put a link to that video in here. I don't remember what platform. It was a short or it was a TikTok thing. I don't remember. And like I said, it could have been CGI. It could have been anything. But my point is it looked just like that. And that's the best way to describe it. Anyway, share your thoughts. Let me know uh, who, who will be responsible for the next world event. Those who they point the finger at or those pointing the finger. You know where I stand. And uh, I, I mean, I hope it just never happens, but unfortunately I don't think that's the case. Anyway, share your thoughts. Let me know your opinion. I appreciate you. Twisted Love Truth. I'll see you soon.